10 common medications that can be harmful to your kidneys. The kidneys, our body's unsung heroes, are responsible for filtering waste and excess fluids from the blood, regulating blood pressure and even producing hormones. As we age, our kidneys won't work as smoothly. It's essential to keep them away from too many chemicals and medicines. But it's challenging because aging often brings a host of health issues and more medications to take. When the kidneys are damaged as a result of taking too much medication, it can lead to a range of health issues, including kidney failure. In this video, we will explore 10 popular medications linked to kidney damage and discuss how you can protect your kidneys from harm. This video is for educational purposes only, so speak to your doctor if you have any medical concerns. So now let's get started with the first medication, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs. Non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs, serve as a cornerstone for managing pain and inflammation for many individuals. Despite their widespread use and effectiveness, there's a lesser known risk associated with their prolonged consumption that deserves attention, potential kidney damage. NSAIDs work by blocking certain pathways in the body that trigger pain and swelling. However, this mechanism of action also affects the kidney's ability to maintain a healthy blood flow and filter out waste efficiently. When NSAIDs like ibuprofen, aspirin and naproxen are taken frequently over a long period, they can impair the kidney's function. This is particularly concerning for those who already have compromised kidney health or are susceptible to kidney issues. The reduced blood flow to the kidneys caused by NSAIDs can lead to a decrease in their filtering capacity. Over time, this can contribute to the accumulation of toxins in the body escalating the risk of chronic kidney disease or acute kidney injury. For those who rely on NSAIDs for managing chronic pain or inflammation, it's crucial to consult your healthcare provider. They can guide you on alternative pain management strategies or arrange regular monitoring of your kidney function. This collaborative approach ensures that the benefits of NSAID use are maximized while minimizing the risk to kidney health, providing you with the reassurance that your health is in good hands. Number two, antibiotics. Antibiotics, hailed for their life-saving capabilities in battling bacterial infections, also carry a risk of kidney damage, mainly when administered in substantial doses or over prolonged periods. A subset of antibiotics, including classes like aminoglycosides and drugs such as vancomycin, are known to be particularly nephrotoxic. These medications can lead to acute kidney injury, a condition that may occur swiftly and with little warning. The mechanism through which these antibiotics induce kidney damage varies but often involves direct toxicity to the cells within the kidneys that are responsible for filtration. This toxicity can impair the kidney's ability to effectively clear waste from the body, accumulating toxins that can exacerbate kidney injury or contribute to the decline in kidney function. People receiving these antibiotics should be closely monitored for signs of kidney distress. Indicators such as changes in urine output, swelling, or increased blood pressure can signal the onset of kidney issues. It is also crucial for your physician to adjust dosages appropriately and consider kidney function when prescribing these potent antibiotics. The third medication is ACE inhibitors, angiotensin-converting enzyme, ACE, inhibitors, while pivotal in managing hypertension and heart failure, possess a nuanced relationship with kidney health. These medications, by design, relax blood vessels to lower blood pressure, thereby enhancing the heart's efficiency. This process, beneficial for cardiovascular wellness, has a flip side regarding the kidneys. In specific individuals, particularly those with existing kidney complications, ACE inhibitors can lead to diminished blood flow to the kidneys. This decrease is a double-edged sword. On the one hand, it can protect kidney function by reducing the pressure on the delicate filtration system, but on the other, it can exacerbate kidney issues by impairing the kidney's ability to cleanse the blood effectively. For people with renal vulnerabilities, the initiation of ACE inhibitor therapy requires a careful assessment of potential benefits against the risks of diminishing kidney function. 
The onset of any kidney-related symptoms while on ACE inhibitors such as a noticeable decrease in urine output or swelling in the limbs should prompt immediate consultation with your physician. The following drugs on our list will surprise you because they are good for your kidneys. These medications are called diuretics. Diuretics, often known as water pills, are crucial in managing various health conditions by promoting the elimination of excess salt and fluids from the body. While they are instrumental in the treatment of hypertension and congestive heart failure, their impact on kidney function warrants careful consideration. The mechanism through which diuretics operate involves increasing urine output which, while beneficial for reducing blood pressure and alleviating fluid retention, can also stress the kidneys, particularly if the body becomes dehydrated. Dehydration induced by diuretics can decrease blood flow to the kidneys, challenging these vital organs to maintain their filtering efficiency. Reduced kidney function can lead to an imbalance in electrolytes such as potassium and sodium, which are critical for the normal operation of cells and organs throughout the body. Prolonged or excessive use of diuretics may exacerbate this situation, potentially leading to kidney damage over time. It's also important to note that certain types of diuretics may carry a higher risk of inducing kidney-related issues. Healthcare providers often monitor people closely when prescribing these medications, especially for those who are at an increased risk for or currently have kidney impairment. Adjusting the type or dosage of diuretic medication alongside regular kidney function assessments can help mitigate the risk of adverse effects, ensuring the therapeutic benefits of diuretics are harnessed without compromising kidney health. Number five, chemotherapy drugs. Chemotherapy is a powerful tool in the fight against cancer, targeting cells that grow and divide quickly. However, this treatment does not discriminate between cancerous and healthy cells, which can lead to various side effects, including kidney damage. Specific chemotherapy agents, notably cisplatin and methotrexate, have a reputation for being nephrotoxic. These substances can harm the kidneys, potentially leading to acute kidney injury or even chronic kidney disease over time. The risk of kidney damage depends on several factors, including the type and dosage of chemotherapy drugs used and the person's overall health and kidney function prior to treatment. To minimize the risk of kidney damage, oncologists often take preventive measures such as adjusting drug dosages, providing adequate hydration before and after chemotherapy, and closely monitoring kidney function throughout the treatment process. Persons undergoing chemotherapy are encouraged to communicate openly with their healthcare team about any new or worsening symptoms, as early detection and intervention can be crucial in preventing lasting kidney damage. Number six, proton pump inhibitors, PPIs. Proton pump inhibitors, PPIs, are widely used medications that significantly decrease stomach acid production, offering relief from conditions like gastroesophageal reflux disease, GERD, and stomach ulcers. Among the most familiar names in this drug class are omeprazole, lansoprazole, and esomprazole. While their efficacy in reducing discomfort and healing acid-related damage is well documented, emerging research suggests a less favorable aspect of their use potential kidney damage. The relationship between long-term PPI use and kidney damage is becoming increasingly apparent. Studies indicate that prolonged exposure to these drugs can lead to an array of kidney issues, ranging from acute interstitial nephritis, a condition marked by inflammation in the kidneys, to the gradual onset of chronic kidney disease. The mechanisms by which PPIs contribute to kidney damage are multifaceted but are thought to involve disruptions in the kidney's normal filtration processes and an increased risk of kidney inflammation. It's essential for individuals who rely on PPIs for managing their acid-related disorders to be aware of this risk. Regular consultation with their healthcare providers is advisable to assess the necessity of continued PPI use and to explore possible alternatives. Number seven, antiviral drugs. Antiviral medications, crucial in the battle against viral infections like herpes, HIV, and influenza, carry a significant responsibility in modern healthcare. 
However, their usage is not without potential risks to kidney health. Specific antivirals, notably acyclovir and sidofovir, have been observed to accumulate in the kidneys, potentially leading to toxicity. This accumulation can result in various forms of kidney impairment, ranging from acute kidney injury to a more sustained chronic kidney disease condition. The risk of kidney damage from antiviral drugs is particularly heightened when administered in high doses or over an extended period. The kidney injury typically manifests due to the direct toxic effects these drugs may have on the renal cells, impeding the kidney's ability to filter and cleanse the blood efficiently. In some instances, these adverse effects are reversible upon cessation of the medication, but in others, the damage may be more enduring. To mitigate these risks, your doctor often recommends strategies such as adequate hydration to help flush the kidneys and maintain optimal kidney function during antiviral therapy. Additionally, dose adjustments based on an individual's kidney function may be necessary, particularly for patients with pre-existing kidney concerns. Number 8. Lithium Lithium, widely recognized for its efficacy in managing bipolar disorder, harbors potential kidney concerns that warrant attention. Chronic administration of lithium can lead to lithium-induced nephropathy, a condition characterized by gradual and often irreversible kidney damage. The path to lithium-induced nephropathy usually involves alterations in kidney function over time, which may not present immediate symptoms, making it a stealthy adversary to renal health. A person on long-term lithium therapy should be vigilant about their kidney health, necessitating regular monitoring through kidney function tests. These tests help detect any early signs of kidney distress, allowing for timely intervention. Adjusting the dosage of lithium or considering alternative treatments might be necessary to mitigate its renal risks. Moreover, maintaining adequate hydration is crucial as dehydration can exacerbate the effects of lithium on the kidneys by concentrating the drug to higher levels in the bloodstream and kidneys. Number 9. Contrast dyes used in imaging Contrast dyes integral to enhancing the clarity of images in procedures like CT scans and MRIs pose a notable risk to kidney health, known as contrast-induced nephropathy CIN. This condition highlights the potential adverse effects these dyes can have, especially in individuals with existing kidney vulnerabilities. The risk is more pronounced when the kidneys, already tasked with filtering waste, are subjected to the added burden of clearing these substances from the bloodstream. It's critical to inform your doctor of any known kidney issues before undergoing tests involving contrast dyes. This allows for the evaluation of risks versus the benefits of the imaging study and consideration of alternative diagnostic methods if necessary. In cases where the use of contrast dye is deemed essential, several precautions can be undertaken to minimize kidney strain. These include pre-procedure hydration to ensure adequate urine flow and possibly the use of medications that protect the kidneys. Additional measures such as adjusting the contrast, dye dosage or employing less nephrotoxic contrast agents may be advised for those with compromised kidney function. Lastly, over-the-counter supplements and herbal remedies. The allure of over-the-counter supplements and herbal remedies is undeniable, offering the promise of natural solutions for many health issues. Yet the safety of these products, particularly concerning kidney health, is not always guaranteed. Numerous supplements and herbs have been implicated in cases of renal damage, highlighting the need for caution among consumers. Ingredients such as creatine, used to enhance athletic performance, and certain Chinese herbs can strain or even harm the kidneys when used excessively or by individuals with pre-existing renal conditions. Consumers must approach these remedies critically, recognizing that natural does not always mean safe. Consulting with your pharmacist before starting any new supplement or herbal remedy is essential, especially for those with underlying health concerns or those taking other medications that could interact adversely. Transparency about all substances being taken, including over-the-counter solutions, allows healthcare professionals to provide informed advice and prevent potential kidney harm. In conclusion, proactive measures are essential to safeguard your kidneys against potential medication-induced harm. 
Adhering to the dosage and instructions your doctor or pharmacist provides is crucial. Be particularly cautious with medications known for their renal risks, such as NSAIDs and certain antibiotics. Adequate hydration is vital to kidney health, efficiently eliminating waste and toxins. Regular monitoring of your kidney function is imperative, especially for those with existing renal issues, to detect any early signs of impairment. Engage in open dialogue with your pharmacist about any medications you're taking, including over-the-counter drugs and supplements, to assess their safety and possible impact on your kidneys. Embracing these preventative steps can significantly contribute to maintaining your kidney health and preventing damage. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell icon so you never miss a video. We wish you all the best for your health and well-being.